Hi, Virgo, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Um, how are you? I'm here to do your tarot scopes for October. Uh, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. It's for sun signs, rising signs, or if your moon is in Virgo um, or any other major, major planet, Venus maybe, uh, feel free to tune in uh, and check this reading out. If it resonates, um, claim it. If not, come back and check it later on in the month i'm using my gilded tarot uh also the shamanic oracle and the toth to clarify as needed toth tarot um what else do i need to tell you i need to mention quickly that i don't do personal readings there are scammers about anyone approaches you pretending to be me block and report them i'm not on whatsapp uh, so if you're approached for a reading uh, please block and report them get rid of them we don't want them here Okay, so let's get started for Virgo for October. What's coming up for Virgo for October? <laughs> Getting a saucer. I don't know whether you're thinking about ET. Someone, someone has a, there's some message there around uh, extraterrestrial beings for somebody. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but the skies, look to the skies. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, so Virgo, what's happening for Virgo? Uh, cycles of time as well. Okay, three of cups in the past. Uh, we've got the knight of wands in the present and the five of swords in, in the future. So um, we'll get to that. Uh, clarified by the two of pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's around self-care for you in October. The Moon card, the Chariot, things moving too quickly, uh, perhaps needing to uh, take a break, uh, perhaps overworking. Um, the accent is on you, is on you in, um, in October. Right, let's bring the laptop down and take a look at some of these cards. So in your immediate past, you've got circles of support, clarified by two of pentacles. Maybe um, maybe somebody was helping you, supporting you. Uh, this is an income stream. Uh, maybe not as bountiful uh, at, at this time. And, of course, you're going to have to make decisions about what you're spending. The moon card uh, means that this is a, a condition that needs to come to the surface. For others, this is around not having the support that you actually do need. And with the moon card here, I'm going to uh, flag uh, the eclipse um, the eclipse in Scorpio uh, in October. I'll do a, another reading on that later on. But around that time, um, you may be called upon to make a decision. So... <clears throat> That's the immediate past and the clarification, and it is around support. Um, but there are conditions here that will permeate through to the present. Let's have a look at what's in the present here. Yeah, things moving very, very quickly. I think you knew you had to make this decision in the past. That's what I'm getting. Um, and you've been putting it off, stalling it. You can't decide. Okay, so here in the immediate future we've got not immediate future in the present we've got the knight of wands there's travel movement you could be taking short trips for example to do with work um, or something that you're skilled at could be called upon the chariot card again can be at the mundane level travel movement but it can also be about things moving very very quickly a new project or plan in the present in october comes to the surface and you have to respond quickly in the immediate future, we've got you the Five of Swords, which is can be around that um, sabotage, uh, abuse here. Whether you're you're you know you could be sabotaging yourself. I think that's more likely. Maybe you've been called on to act very quickly in October uh, over something, and you get, you do you do move quickly, but there's a burden here that you're carrying. You've got to really look after yourself in the future here and slow things down a bit you will move forward i think you do get that you, i do i think you do get that message that you really do have to look after yourself uh and the page of wands is picking up that baton here and moving moving ahead with it now i'm going to do some clarification here i want to see <clears throat> this decision that you 
either made or knew that you have to make. What's this moon card doing here? I want a clarification on the moon card. Yeah, so we've got the Ten of Cups family uh, and we've got the Knight of Dis. Uh, this is something, a family matter, a decision that you had to make around a family member. But you uh, you make it and you move forward um, you move forward with it and there's a gain, a financial gain with the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress card, uh, is, of course, is abundance. So you're making financial decisions, I feel, uh, as much as anything uh, in October. That's interesting. I want to see what you're making those decisions, financial decisions, hard decisions, or whatever this decision is, in order to not just support yourself but to support others. <clears throat> Show me this Knight of <clears throat> Wands here. I'm pretty pretty keen to see what this project is that you're going to be called upon to uh, contribute to. Now, um, the card that just fell out there is the uh, Success card, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, um, you're going to be called upon to work on this uh, due to your ability to get the job done. Um, now, this is giving and receiving help. It can be also loans, debts, uh, can be money coming in. It is a success card in the top deck. Now, these two cards want to come through. So you could have some money owed to you coming back in. Uh, we've got swiftness occurring and some anxiety here as well. There's movement. There's big movement in October on, on, on a project. Okay, so we have here, I keep wanting to pull three cards, the family card. Uh, and this is definitely working with others and the Hermit, which you, you pulled your own card here and the Hierophant. So I feel that this project is going to be pretty lucrative for you. Uh, if you're traveling, let's see what this chariot is. I'm pretty keen to see what this chariot, why is the chariot here? Show me the chariot. So we've got truth, the truce. T-R-U-C-E, the Four of Swords. Okay, so maybe you're making this decision also for others to slow some things down. The Three of Swords, now you've got the Three and Four. There's decisions that you're making and the Prince of Cups for not only your own good, but for those that you love. Um, now, interesting, I get the Abuse card here in the future and the need for self-care. So if something... If you get called upon to contribute something or a new project emerges, you're going to have to look after yourself and look after your health. Um, show me what this abuse of power actually is or abu abuse of our own power to uh, look after our physical bodies, to look after our mental health, um, not to overdo things. This could also be someone else sabotaging you, but I've got the truth here, facing the truth over something. You've got the Five of Pentacles, Worry over Finances and the Prince of Dis. Finances improving in October. No need to worry. It wears you down. It takes away from your good health. Okay, more cards are wanting to come out. Uh, the Seven of Cups, choices that you make and the lovers uh, for those that you love. You're at a crossroads, I feel, uh, between... This is a change, making some decisions to make some fundamental changes. Hence why we've got this page of cups here. Um, not just making decisions for yourself, but making decisions for those that you love. Okay, so what's the page of wands here? Four, please show me this page of wands. Okay, they've got a mind of their own. So we've got here the two of wands, something coming to fruition. You've got the balls in your court. You've got control. The Eight of Swords, um, you need to stop worrying. And the Star card, everything's going to be okay. Queen of Cups comes up again. You're going to get support. This is Cancerian energy, uh, looking after your own health. Uh, and the Knight of Discs moving forward with stability and resilience. So some decisions here, key decisions about your health, key decisions about your finances, and perhaps a new project coming, uh, dropping on your plate, uh, and it's one that you're perfect for, that you've got skills to do, but be careful not to take on too much. All right, three uh, oracle cards, please, for my Virgos for the month of October. 
Virgo October. So we have here Beauty Way. Yes, yeah, stopping and smell it, smelling the roses. Witness. That's interesting. Called upon to witness something. What are you witnessing? The giveaway. Okay, there's a gift coming through. And also the ghost dance, which is, uh, of course, the ancestral card. Ancestors around you, passed over loved ones. There's some something here around a gift that's coming your way. That could be that project. Um, and witness, the witness. What's the witness doing here? Witnessing. Yeah, witnessing. Witnessing life, not participating in life, but witnessing Witnessing the beauty of life. Okay, so what's the witness doing here? Okay, so we have here the owl and wisdom. So, yeah, um, you're going to be called upon, and I think you are getting help from your past over loved ones. To approach, October's going to be a key month for the reasons that I've mentioned. But this is not falling back into familiar old patterns, moving ahead in a different way this time. Maybe not as grand as what you had envisaged, but moving forward nevertheless, uh, doing the right thing by yourself and others. Thanks for tuning in, Virgo. I'll be back again next month for another reading. Bye for now.